Oh boy, do I got something special for y'all today. So this is an adult of the cicada species, Neotibicin linnae. They're super common here in Illinois. They're one of the annual kinds of cicadas. They come around every year. But I have never actually watched one of these things transform from a nymph into adult. I was able to film it for the first time. I have a lot of like really cool macro footage and I'm just gonna make you watch it because I thought it was awesome. All right, here we go. Just like with other cicadas, Neotibicin eggs hatch into nymphs and this one has spent the last couple years underground it's on its way to find the best branch or vertical surface on which to transform from this awkward stage as a teen bug and into the fully formed and realized adult version of itself kind of like a teenager moving out of the basement of the earth and into the light of day where now it's got to go pay some income taxes and renew the registration of its vehicle so I have sped up this footage quite a bit, but at this point I had already been filming this for about an hour. I was like, I'm in it to win it. And uh, for the record, I thought that little branch was going to be the perfect place on which the cicada nymph could emerge. Although it did not listen to me, it went on to try and find a better place. And then, oh, look at that. Wouldn't you know it, I was right. So this is where things start getting uh, a little bit weird. I notice it's doing a funny little dance. And then I kind of realize it's trying to it's trying to glue itself to the tree. It's using its butt to try and glue itself to the tree. I didn't what a hole is that coming out of? It's so goopy. Okay, I tried to find a different name or word for this or whatever, but I couldn't find anything and butt glue is the best that I got, so that's what we're going with. Okay, now that it is secured to the tree via its own butt glue, a crack appears on the back of its exoskeleton. It starts wiggling, it starts moving its shoulders, really trying to push itself out, and I could not believe I was in the right place at the right time, but can you believe this? One eye comes out of its head, and then the second eye pops out of its head, and there it was, staring at me like a weird baby alien meeting its mother for the first time. Yeah, it's me, little one. I laid your egg. Fun fact, by the way, cicadas have five eyes, like the two big ones on the side are primary compound eyes. Those three dots, those are what it uses to perceive light and darkness. Anyway, after that I needed a break, so here is some nice footage of it taking some early breaths, wiggling its little legs, hanging off of its butt, stuck inside the hollow husk of its former self, maybe regretting its decision to transform in the first place. Because also, those little thread-like white wispy things are the remnants of its lungs! They're not like your lungs, they're called tracheal tubes, and they are attached from the insides of their bodies to their outsides. But because of this, it's thought that they can't breathe at all during that molting phase, because essentially their lungs are being ripped from their body and turned inside out. That sounds really painful, so we're gonna give, give him a little bit of a pass. He looks really weird right now. Uh, that right there, it's stabby mouth parts, that's called a beak. It had one of those when it was younger, which it used like a straw to suck xylem out of tree roots. And now it'll use it to suck sap out of trees and then pee all over you. For real, if you walk under a cicada tree and feel a little dewy mist, that's cicada pee. Okay, I'm just gonna pause for a second so we can watch it pull its rear end out of its nymph shell in a move that must be so relieving, at least to the cicada. You might have thrown up in your mouth a little bit and uh, that's okay. This is a judgment-free zone. I love this wing footage. It's some of my favorites. So, okay, once their wings unfurl and dry, the structure of cuticle cells in the cicada wing protects against rain and bacteria. And they're made of special nanostructures that allow light to pass through them, which is why they get that cool transparent look. So this entire process took a little over two hours. I came back later to see how our friend was doing. The cicada is in a really vulnerable position soon after it emerges and needs some time for its exoskeleton to harden, which is when it changes colors. So by the morning, it was gone, leaving behind the exuvia, fancy word for the discarded body jacket. That was all that was left. So even though this process happens billions of times around the world every year and has been happening for tens of millions of years, 
it still felt really special to me to see it for myself. And I think part of what makes this so relatable is that in one way or another, we've all undergone a transformation like this. I mean, maybe it didn't involve as much butt glue, but you know what I mean. We've all been there. Be kind to yourself.